Research has revealed that spending time alone has huge benefits for your brain. Time spent alone can improve your creativity, help you reduce stress and anxiety, and even boost your memory. Many successful writers, artists, and thinkers have found solitude to inspire their work in the woods. Solitude allows us to engage in introspection, recollection, and meditation, powerful ways to tap into creativity. The right amount of solitude distances us from the distractions of life, allowing us to reflect on our thoughts and emotions. Virginia Woolf considered solitude to be a fundamental aspect of freedom. She believed that it was the force that facilitates the writer's detachment from society and develops the independence which makes new inventions of thought possible. To find peace, you need to get away from the distractions of the city. The best way to find peace is to go on a hike or camping trip. It's a beautiful experience. When people spend time in solitude, intentionally and purposefully with no distractions, they begin to experience what is commonly known as transcendence. This experience goes beyond the conscious mind. It transcends the mind so that the person is one with what they encounter. Modern society promotes individuality, but solitude is rarely accepted as a legitimate form of self-expression. People living alone are often looked down upon, and those who choose to live a life of solitude can face backlash in their communities. This is strange when compared with the modern movement toward individuality and diversity. This reaction is strange because modern culture cultivates individuality regarding tattoos or other body modifications. Dr. Philip Koch, author of Solitude, A Return to the Self, has noted that solitude is a unique kind of social experience that most cultures don't respect or value. One might wonder why someone would choose to be alone when research has shown that human beings need companionship to be happy. The reason is simple, a person's happiness is independent of their environment. The quality of their relationships with others and time spent with them has nothing to do with one's level of contentment. Moreover, it is widely accepted that a person can be happy but still spend time alone. You might be wondering about what it means to live a life of solitude. Is it something you can sustain, or is it merely a phase you're going through? Whatever the reason may be, there are steps that you must take to ensure that you are leading a healthy, happy life without anyone else by your side. One of the first things you must do is identify what fears you have regarding your solitude. But these fears aren't genuine, they're just your mind's defense against perceived risk. You can overcome these fears by simply giving yourself small doses of alone time that test your comfort levels. Anthony the Great was the founder of monasticism who lived alone in a cave for 20 years. When he returned to society, he had both mental and physical fitness. Inspiring others, people wanted to become his followers. 